Welcome back to Eastside Catholic High School. Time now for the Alderson's Awards West postgame show for trophies, awards, T-shirts, and so much more. Go to aldersons.net for their full catalog. Paul Beatty along with Joe Withy and Von Druin. And uh, Joe, uh, what a game tonight here. It was, uh, as you mentioned, 27 to 21 going into the fourth quarter it was not decided and then uh i think a couple of things happened here for rainier beach they just started to run out of some gas and being such a, a high collision sport a uh, high collision game i should say uh it just took their toll on them i'm going to run down the scoring summary here for you we'll start in the first uh quarter uh, and with 2.17 left to go for Eastside Catholic, it would be an 11-yard uh, touchdown pass from uh, Brady McAleer to Asa Thompson. Adam Jacobs added the extra point. It was 7 or nothing. They would make that 14 to nothing when Mason Uribe dashed 84 yards. Uh, and uh, the extra point good again by Jacobs to make it 14 to nothing. Rainer Beach will get back into it with their best offensive drive of the ball game uh, in the second quarter, and they finish it off with a big run from Scott Humphrey of 24 yards. Extra point by Brandon Smith, and it was 14 to 7 with 4:35 left to go. Then Eastside Catholic would answer immediately, starting on their own 25-yard line. They'd finish it off with a. Uh, two-yard run, and that would be Richie... Well, let me try and say his Fotali'i name. Ifua. All right. Thank you, Joe. Joe helped me out there, and that would... Uh, extra point was good. 21 to 7 at that point. Then a strange uh, way of scoring at the end of the first half as uh, with seven seconds left to go, uh, Adam Jacobs lined up for a 41-yard field goal attempt. It was blocked and returned for a touchdown by Presley. Yeah. And uh, that would be uh, Caleb Presley goes the distance. The extra point missed, and it was 21-13 to at the half. Then in the second half, Rainer Beach would get the ball to begin with. And uh, our east side... Was it Eastside Catholic? No, Rainier Beach. Uh, Be- Beach got the opening kickoff. They got the, the only opening half. kickoff, yeah. and then they uh, turned the ball over, and then Eastside Catholic. Oh, well, that was uh, the block. Okay, punt that was the block the punt. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, I got it right. Yeah. Uh, I'll get it right here. Yeah, the block punt, and that would be uh, re- uh, uh, they blocked the punt late. Uh, that would be Eastside uh, Eastside Catholic. There's so many block. Yeah. Balls here I'm, I'm, I'm and, and, and fumbles and stuff. It's throwing me off here. Uh, so uh, the block punt would go into the end zone, and recovering it would be David Linne right in the back of the end zone. And the extra point, I believe, missed, right? So that made it right. 27 to 13 at that point. Uh, coming back the other way, Rainier Beach um, would then – uh, a great pass rush. It may have been uh, who was on that? That it might, number fifty for that Beach. May have been uh, yeah, Dallas Al, uh, uh, Dallas Afalava yeah. may have knocked the ball up. Uh, it might have been Humphrey as well. Either way, it ended up in the hands of Humphrey, and he would return it about forty-five yards for the touchdown. They'd go for two, and they would get it as uh, Gadiz would uh, find uh, on that uh, two-point conversion. Uh, was that? Oh, boy. He I found, didn't... I think he found uh, number six, Look. Hillis, wasn't it? Taiwan Hillis, maybe? Uh, anyway. I don't remember that one. He t- I think the, it was Hillis the over two, there in the left corner. Yeah, the two-point conversion was good, and uh, they trailed uh, twenty-one or 27 or 21. They'd get into the fourth quarter, trailing 27-21, to 21, but Eastside Catholic would force a punt and then drive it down and a five-yard touchdown run again by a big number four. Richie. Richie Fotali'i Ali Ifua. And then this would be, well, maybe this is the six I was thinking of because uh, it would be uh, 
Uh, Brady Mackler finding Brandon Ganeshamurthy uh, for the two-point conversion to make it 35-21. Mm. to 21. And then Richie would add another two-yard uh, touchdown late with 3.40 to go. Uh, and that would push the score to 41-21. And that is where we ended up. Joe, before we get to our MVP and uh, the standings and who they're going to play next week, uh, why don't you run down your individual okay. stats? Okay, yeah. You know, uh, Mason Aribe, the senior running back, just a super fine football player. 20 carries for 219 yards. That's one sh- yard shy of 11 yards a carry. So, uh, tremendous game. 219 yards and a touchdown. And his backup got some great action tonight as well, Richie. Fotali'i Ali Ifua had 11 carries for 57 yards and three touchdowns. And you know what? They need to, uh, Rainier Beach needed to have Eastside Catholic pass the ball to Uribe because he had two receptions for zero yards tonight, did Uribe. He had that 79 yarder called back. Yeah, yeah. The screen pass. Oh, he got he, he got, got six, six. So he had three that, yeah. carry three receptions for six yards, but just a huge night on the ground between Uribe and Richie. They had 276 yards and four touchdowns on the ground. Senior quarterback Brady McAleer, 14 for 20 for 137 yards, one TD, one interception. Uh, didn't need him as much in the game tonight with all those rushing yards. Reyes caught four balls for 84 yards. Asa Thompson, four balls for 34 yards and one TD. Uribe, three three catches for six yards. So, huge night on the ground, and the game was still in the balance with, uh, you know, a little more than seven minutes to go. But uh, Eastside Catholic took advantage of some great field position and uh, just not a lot of production on offense from Rainier Beach the second half. Uh, And Scott Trey Humphrey really impressed us tonight. Paul, uh, 13 carries for 88 yards and a touchdown. He also had a uh, that interception return for the touchdown. He played some good defense, did Scott Trey Humphrey for Rainier Beach, the senior running back. Uh, Gaudiz was just 5 out of 21 tonight passing. Just uh, They just couldn't hit. They couldn't connect. The, uh, their timing was just a little bit off. The defense was reading plays. Uh, they were late with balls. Uh, Whatever the factors were, um, the passing yeah. game was not dynamic. Gaudiz rushed for 11 yards on five scrambles, and uh, us had two carries for 16 yards for Rainier Beach. So their best player on offense was certainly Scott Trey Humphrey. Yeah, no question about that. So Eastside Catholic will wrap up their league at 7-0, 8-0 overall. Rainier Beach finishes at 5-1 and one and 6-2 and two overall. O'Day was playing, uh, who were they playing tonight? They were at Garfield. Uh, uh, O'Day 5-1 and one and Garfield at 4-2, and two, so a battle there. Yeah. Meantime, um, and the, that's the Metro Mountain. The Metro Sound, Ingram 6-0 and oh and 7-0 and oh overall coming into tonight. Lincoln of Seattle 5-1. and one. Franklin 4-1. and one. Chief South 3-2. Uh, playing tonight, uh, Franklin was at Ingram, so Ingram had a chance to finish off. Franklin uh, looking to cause some issues there and and stay alive in that. Lincoln of Seattle was at Chief South, who uh, uh, also at three and two and three and three. So some good matchups there. Now next week, I think they cross over in the Metro. I don't know how exactly that plays out uh, for their final, and then they'd be into the crossovers of districts, so so to speak. So I'm not exactly sure how they cross over and play, uh, but we'll get a word on that uh, coming up. Uh, now it's time for our MVP. Time to name our MVP of the game, Joe. And our MVP, of course, comes from the winning team. Um, I'm not messing around to this time. My vote is for Mason to read. Yeah, I don't know how we get around that 20 one. carries, 219 yards. He just strikes fear in the defense. Uh, his vision... And uh, one taken down as well, as we exactly. mentioned. So, yeah, Uribe uh, will be our MVP of the game for Eastside Catholic. And I'd say I'd give a, a big, a very big uh, uh, honorable mention tonight to uh, Richie. Definitely. Yeah. Richie was. Because no, he also played, he played well on defense as well. He was in there on the defense. 
How many, uh, made how some many plays. carries? Would, or how many yards would he have had if he had twenty carries as yeah. well? I mean, he was quick off the ball. He, yeah. all three of his touchdowns, he went in standing up. Very of course, they explosive. were shorter runs, but yeah. uh, what a one-two punch there, and uh, led by your eBay. No question about it. All right, that is going to do it for us. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's been a long night, uh, senior night. And Eastside Catholic did it right with the win. And they're, they're holding the trophy of the Metro Mountain uh, Division uh, down there right now taking their pictures. So uh, we will uh, figure out how the Metro will be played or matched up next week. Let you know about that. In the meantime, we still have football. we got a couple of huge games tomorrow, Joe, down south, which would impact. Uh, one will definitely impact uh, potentially uh, these teams here, and that is Lakes at Lincoln in an uh, SSC uh, matchup. Uh, Lakes coming off a brutal loss last Monday. They had their game pushed back twice, ended up having to play Monday night against Spanaway Lake and lost 16-15 to in the final three seconds mm. of the game. So a tough loss there. Spanaway Lake undefeated in league play down there, as is Lincoln. So uh, uh, Lincoln plays Lakes tonight, and then the Spanaway Lake and Lincoln will play next week. So the top three teams are playing here in the final couple of weeks, and that's going to determine uh, their seeding into the postseason. Another big score from down south uh, from the 3A, and folks better keep an eye. If you haven't heard of the Elm Tornadoes, you'll want to keep an eye on them. Um, they uh, took on the Peninsula uh, Seahawks in the SSC, and the both undefeated. And after the third quarter, Yelm was leading forty-four to nothing. Uh, and they are going to be a team to have to be dealt with uh, this year at three A level. Yeah, and yep. I think they. The, I think I got a final score from a friend of mine who uh, uh, he texted me that it was fifty-eight yeah, fourteen final. Fifty-eight yeah. fourteen final after a 44 to nothing lead for the Tornadoes. They will be uh, a team to contend with. It will, will be interesting. All right, we will uh, also, one other game tomorrow on the 4A level here is going to be a big one, and that is uh, Graham Kapowson hosting uh, Emerald Ridge in the uh, SBSL 4A. Uh, that has uh, championship uh, um, uh, uh, impact as well. Uh, both those games at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. All right, thank you much. We'll see you next time here on the Eli and the NFHS Sports Network.